What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Cutlass Board Games channel and I'm here with a, another cool deck tech video that I've been playing a bit on stream today. This is Kazahan. Um, the name comes from a joke when playing Magic the Gathering when very often control players will want to know exactly how many cards your opponent has in your hand and this is kind of the same thing. Um, it kind of has the core of a devil dinosaur deck where you're playing Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur to have the double dino um, archetype, but there's a few other spicy things in there that work really cool. For example, if you Bast and it hits, if you Bast, it sets the power of all cards in your hand to three, right? Which is fine, some of these things. Devil Dino is three, normally. But the ongoing effect makes his power bigger, so Bass doesn't do anything to this. Ronin's the same, right? Maximus, unfortunately, not, not so great. But for Sandman and Adam Warlock, it's really, really good. And Mystique is really, really good. So if you have a Mystique that has three power, and it copies Devil Dinosaur or Ronin the Accuser, it's the same card, but it costs you less. And if Moon Girl made a copy of a Mystique that has 3 power, your turn 6 can be Mystique, Mystique, and then you have essentially 3 dinosaurs. That's just better than 2 dinosaurs, right? Or the same goes for Ronin the Accuser. Or you could have 2 Ronins and you could play Maximus on the final turn. The other thing is um, how Adam Warlock works in this deck. Adam Warlock not only draws you cards to help you find Devil Dinosaur and Ronin, but he also keeps your hand size big um, for Devil Dino to have high stats, and it means that you can play a Devil Dino without a whole bunch of cards that just put junk into your hand, um, which is great in my opinion. And the other thing is that you have Maximus that puts cards in your opponent's hand, so Ronin gets bigger. Um, but Adam Warlock on 2, Maximus on 3 always means you're drawing a card with Adam Warlock pretty much every time. Um, and it's like 2 for you, 1 for me. And then playing Sandman after playing Maximus means that your opponent with 7 cards in hand can only play 1 card per turn. Which means that their hand size cannot go lower than 6. Which means that Ronan, his power is relatively fixed at that high number now. In the same way that Devil Dino is if you just hold a bunch of cards in your hand, right? Um, and I thought this was really interesting, especially because there's so many decks that are like, like um, Sarah Miracle or uh, any Mr. Negative deck plays a bunch of things in the final turn. All, all these decks that got punished by Leech now just lose to this because this goes, uh, Sandman, here's a big thing, and then here's another big thing, and then you kind of win the game. Um, and that's kind of the, the main strategy. You've got uh, like the top half of the deck, right? Bast, Iceman, Sunspot, Adam Warlock, Scorpion, Armor. These are all about getting an early advantage, getting some power on the board, um, and then hopefully setting up Adam Warlock to draw you some cards. And then if you play Devil Dino onto the Adam Warlock lane, it will continue to draw your cards and keep the Devil Dino's power big. Um, and then your mid game is like your Maximus, Sandman, or Moon Girl. Uh, you play Sandman if you think you're playing Ronin. You play Moon Girl if you think you're playing Devil Dinosaur, right? Um, and also the location of the cards in your hand might just be like, you just never play Moon Girl, you always play Sandman. Uh, and then you're playing either Devil Dino or Ronin on 5, and then you're playing um, Mystique, two Mystiques maybe, or Mystique Maximus, right? Um, trying to get the most value out of those two ongoing effects. Um, and I honestly really, really enjoying finding a place for Sandman. Sandman getting the boost from Bast to have three power actually feels really, really strong. Um, I'm kind of jazzed about it, honestly, and it feels less bad to have to lose a turn to be playing Sandman. And Maximus's huge power um, on turn three works really, really well, curving out after playing Adam Warlock. 
um, and then playing into Sandman, you don't feel like you're at a huge loss, which is great. But um, here's a couple of clips of some highlights of me playing the deck today on stream so you can get a feel about how it plays and kind of look at what those final turns really do look like when it all comes together. Alright. Um. Mm. This will be 14. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we take those. You definitely take those. I think my opponent's kind of... Okay, they're gonna skip now that they have Sunspot in play. I seem to draw Ronan. I do not. That would have been... Would have been nice. I get a 1 in 4 chance of getting Ronan. Okay, good. My opponent's got 5 cards in hand. This is a pretty good play. I think I just snap. I think I snap and my opponent gets forced out. Plan now revolves around drawing Maximus. Could play a lot of cards this turn. I think it's gonna play one thing that costs three. Maximus. Oh, that's handy for me. Gigantic double dinosaur. And then here's two more. My own. Lol. Ronan. I drew Ronan. Okay, we win now. <laughs> uh, so you play Sandman, which means that they'll never win Mojo World unless if they play Brood. Um, and then I get to play Ronan Mystique. Dracula. This guy's playing a Zabu deck, but didn't draw Zabu. Very unfortunate. He has no way of lowering his hand size 
below 7. And if I slay a devil dinosaur, it would be big too. Alright, I thought that was a interesting look at a new deck that I haven't really seen played. I guess it is an evolution of the Double Dino deck, but I also really like playing around Salmon. I think Salmon is really underlooked. I feel like people have tried to make it work, and especially because Zabu put so many cards into play, um, Sarah Miracle put so many cards into play on those final turns, that, and uh, Death Wave. Death Wave put so many cards into play on those final turns that Sandman feels really, really strong right now. Keeping your opponent's hand full of cards that they can't play makes them want to retreat. And maybe that's going to steal a bunch of cubes for you. But let me know what you think. I'd really like to hear about any substitutions. If you're missing a card, what would you play instead of that in this slot? What kind of things would you try out in this list? Because a lot of these cards are just in there because they're good. Iceman doesn't need to be there. Um, Scorpion was Baron Mordo five minutes ago, and I was playing Black Widow, and I cut them out because I was just never playing these cards when I had them in my hand. Um, but what do you think? And I actually make a whole bunch of other Marvel Snap content on this channel, so if you're keen to check out some other stuff, I'm going to have some buttons here for you to click on. You can click on these buttons. This video here is going to be the VOD of me playing it today on stream while I'm a bit sleepy and making lots of mistakes. And then this, this one over here on, on my left is the playlist of all the Marvel Snap content that you can just kind of scroll through and find some of the best stuff. And then there's a button over here. I always get this wrong. Over here that you can click that will subscribe to the channel and put a smile on my face. Big smile. And that would, that would be kind of cool too.